guys, so today is going to be something a bit different. I am actually going to be doing an empties video. I think I've done one before, but it takes a while for me to get through some stuff, and this is kind of, I just stick everything in a David's tea bag, and I have a hard time getting through a lot of stuff because I have so much stuff. The only time I normally get through things are like my project pans. Which, if you guys want to see another one of those, leave me a comment in the comments below and I could start doing another project pan. There's a few items that I think I could throw in there that I know of already off the top of my head. Anywho, most of this stuff is skincare and none of... I don't... I'm, I'm having a hard time getting through makeup stuff. I have so much makeup, unfortunately, that I can't really get through most of it. Half the time I either throw it out or I give it to friends before I even get through something. So... Yeah, so I'm gonna hopefully get through some more makeup. Foundation is probably the only thing that I get through on a regular basis. And that and primers. Primers I go through quite a bit in setting sprays, but, but I have a lot of those, so I don't tend to use one at a time. I tend to use a lot. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And if you guys are not new, welcome back. And thanks for coming back and rejoining me. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you are getting the notifications of my upcoming videos. If you guys want to see what I kind of have emptied in the last couple of months, roughly two months, just keep watching. So let's just start off with this here. This is the Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash in Coconut Milk and Jasmine, I think it's called. Yeah. This is obviously a body wash. It smelt really good. I still love the smell of it. It, I will probably repurchase it if they sell it. I've had this for a little while. I have a lot of body washes. I have an obsession with buying stuff. I think I need to like rein that in a tiny little bit, but this was really nice. I loved how when I showered and um, used this, I still put cream on, but I didn't need it as much. I felt like this really helped condition my skin, especially in the winter months. It's quite a bit of a big container. This is 24 fluid ounces, so it took a while to get through this because you really don't need a whole lot. So that is that and I probably re will repurchase that. So I had, I have finally gotten through the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Scrub. This is the green tea scrub. I really enjoy this. I think I have a backup, but I got them on sale. This was literally $5. So that was awesome. It took a while to get through because I don't use scrubs every single day. I use them every couple of days and that was kind of great. It was a moderate scrub. It wasn't super heavy or really abrasive. It didn't feel like it was ripping my skin off, which was nice. That was that. So it helped with blackheads. So I'm definitely probably obviously going to use another one because I do have another one. I bought it at the same time. I used it once and then I really liked it the first time. So I did purchase another one. That is empty. And then I have this one here. This is the Clean and Clear Acne Triple Clear Cleansing. This is the oil-free one. So sometimes I have a problem with breakouts. So I leave something like the Clean and Clear or something like a blackhead one in the shower. So when I start getting like massive breakouts, I have a few going on right here. Um, I'll just use this. So this is something that I don't use every day. It's one of those things that I feel is way too drying for my skin. Especially as you get a bit older, your face doesn't like to stay moisturized as much. So I don't particularly enjoy using like an acne fighting product every single day, but obviously when I have massive breakouts, then I will use one. So I finally went, got through this. And then there is this one. So this is the Olay Regenerate um, clean, Cream Cleanser. And this I absolutely love. Yes, I have my name on it. Um, <laughs> my sister and I live together and she actually was using the same one at the same time. So I wanted to make sure that I was using mine and not hers. So I actually really enjoy this. I probably will repurchase this one as well just because it was really nice on the skin. It didn't bother my skin at all. Anyway, I have dry skin so I can't use something that is like acne fighting all the time. So I use something like this. Well, then I finally finished off this here. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Remover. And this is the, the liquid one. Do you really enjoy using the Clinique Take the Day Off 
makeup removers. They're great for getting rid of makeup that won't come off, like mascaras, eyebrows, things like that. So I finally got through this. This one I've had for a little while, so I was excited to finally get through it, and I love it, so I probably after the bomb may repurchase this one instead of the bomb but i'm not sure i really am enjoying the bomb right now the cream one so i might not end up repurchasing this one and just continue to repurchase that one but i think this one is actually a bit cheaper and it takes a little longer to go through so far so we'll see this here is the the body shop vitamin e hydrating toner so this has got no alcohol in it but it tones your face so for any of you that do not use a toner toners are really good to moisturize your skin to take off dead things like if you don't wash your face properly and your and you don't actually get all of your face wash off toners help get rid of that and make sure your ph balance is kind of back to normal so i like this one this one was a bit heavy i don't think i will repurchase this one i've had it for a while and it took a while to get through so i have a bunch of other ones that I absolutely love. This will not be repurchased. So now for some cream things. So apparently I like Olay. So this here is the Olay Regenerist Wrinkle Remover a Revelation Complex. So this is what it looks like. This smelled really good. I really enjoyed the smell of this one. This is, you're supposed to use it um, twice a day. So I focused on my forehead and in here, I, it's to get rid of wrinkles. I don't have wrinkles yet, but I like to fight that sort of thing before it happens. And I feel like if you start younger and you start using wrinkle protection, then it helps counterbalance it. It's a lot easier to fight the problem before it happens than it is to counterbalance it after, is what I feel. So then this here is the Clinique Smart Night um, Custom Repair Moisturizer. So it's obviously empty. This was a sample, I think. This was not a full size or a deluxe sample. And I used this. It was a bit heavy, so I only used it on my forehead and kind of in my cheek area and my chin so it didn't give me breakouts but I probably will repurchase this it was nice I liked it but I'm not sure I have a lot of face cream so and then there is this this is the Olay anti-aging eye roller so it has those little balls on it and then you push the thing and then you rub it under your eyes this is supposed to moisturize like it's supposed to de-puff and stuff like that so this was okay I'm not gonna lie I probably will not repurchase this the whole I prefer something that isn't, like, it feels like it kind of, it didn't hurt, but it wasn't something my, like, wasn't exactly my favorite thing. I have a bunch of other under eye creams that I prefer, so this I will repurchase, but it wasn't bad. I didn't really see a difference with it, though. All right, so then for a actual hair care product, this is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. So I absolutely love Moroccan Oil hair masks. I like their oils. I like their hair masks. This is one of my favorite hair masks. This is the Arrogant Oil one, enriched, obviously, it's Moroccan oil. So it was hydrating. I love hair masks. I use one probably once a week. I damage my hair quite a bit. I curl it with a curling iron. I uh, obviously it's colored. I color it quite often. It really needs, I actually need to relighten it. So that will be interesting. So I counterbalance, like I said, with the face stuff, I will counterbalance things before. I don't know if that's the right word, but before anything like so say I'm going to go and get my hair lightened or I go and get it lightened I will can super super crazily go in and do deep conditioning treatments and deep condition treatments I need my hair to be awesome before I go in and get my hair done because then what happens is, is your hair isn't as damaged as it would have been if you just go in and you don't use the deep conditioning treatment I am all about deep conditioning treatments being a hairdresser, I feel like if you're not using one and you are using any sort of hot tool, blow dryer, if you're coloring your hair on a regular basis, you need to be moisturizing your hair. Curly hair is even worse. I have naturally curly hair and curly hair, you literally need to moisturize the crap out of it so it doesn't stay, it doesn't go fuzzy. Also, you need products, but, but sorry. Sorry about the hair hair rant. Um, if you guys want to see a video on all of my tips and tricks for certain hair types and stuff like that, or just some more hair videos, leave me a comment in the comments below. I am a hairdresser, so that is literally what I do for work, and I do have a lot of different knowledge on it because of it being my job and I do classes all the time and things like that. So leave me a comment in the comments below if you guys would like some hair videos. 
So anyway, so that was this one here. So now for some makeup stuff. Okay, so this here is the Lash Paradise Volumous Lash Paradise. This is from L'Oreal, and I can't even open it. It's stuck. Um, this one isn't completely empty, but it is dry. This stuff dries out so quick, but I have so many mascaras that I don't tend to use the same one every day. This one wasn't exactly my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. It does remind me quite a bit of the sexy... Too Faced Sexy one, and that one's not exactly my favorite either. So this doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot for my lashes. Again, that is just me. If you guys love any of, like, this one or the Too Faced mascara, that is great. Like, it just does nothing for my personal eyelashes. I have eyelashes that stick straight out of my face. Like, they go like this, and it is so irritating. So even with curling them with my curl, like, my lash curler and, like, a heat curling lash curler, they still don't want to stay up, so that is... Fin finally finished this one off, though. This is... I obviously cut it. So this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Primer. And so that's the nice silicone primer. I really liked this one. It is now empty, and I obviously cut it open and scooped everything out. So that I love. I will. I actually have already repurchased this one. It's really great. And then this is the e.l.f eyebrow pencil and it comes with the spoolie like there was another one like this on here but I just kind of and then it's the pencil so this is something that I liked this is in I guess the dark brown one you can see here that it's the dark brown one I actually have already pe repurchased this one too I don't really use eyebrow pencils a lot but I really like them when I'm just doing like a half a look or like a barely barely there look so I will use like an eyebrow pencil for that so that one is done. And then I have the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. So there's this one. This is the con oil control one. I don't really have an oil control problem. This one's the sample little one. I didn't buy the big one for this one just because I like the idea of having little ones so I can throw them in at like a little makeup bag. Probably won't buy this one. I didn't hate it. It's just I am using the All Nighter right now and I like that one a little bit better. So this one was a great one but I prefer the other Urban Decay one. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And this is, you can use this as a primer and or a setting spray. I use this for a setting spray. I might have to try using it as a primer. I have repurchased this one. I still really enjoy this because obviously I repurchased it. That was everything for this empties video. Stay tuned, you'll probably get one in another like two months because I do not go through things very fast. But if you like them, Give me a thumbs up so that I know you do like them so I can continue to film them. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Uh, maybe there's two inside. I do not know. It's not like a mask mask. It's, oh, maybe it is. I don't know. I have no idea. So this is the Rosé All Day from, this is from Ma the brand Masquerade. 